I'm sorry, not sorry, but this has to be said. If your only information about water comes from an MLM, it's time to broaden your research. Kangen folks, I'm looking at you. <laughs> there is so much misinformation about water that's being spread by well-meaning people who just don't bother to look beyond the narrow company narratives or the hearsay that's passed through uplines and downlines of people trying to profit from half-truths. So let me dispel some common myths for you. First of all, alkaline ionized water is not healthy in the long term. Its short-term benefits are due to its higher levels of hydrogen, not due to higher pH and ORP. And you can actually raise hydrogen in much healthier ways than by electrocuting water with electrolysis, much better ways to get hydrogen. So second, alkaline ionized water does not neutralize acids in the body. Only buffers neutralize acids and that water is not buffered. Having a high pH urine test doesn't mean that your body has neutralized acids, it means that your body is expelling excess bases. Lastly, and maybe most importantly, that water is not structured. Structured water is entirely dependent upon the hydrogen bonds, and by definition, electrolysis splits hydrogen bonds apart. And no, ionic charge does not equal molecular structure. In other words, structured water has an ionic charge, and ionized water has an ionic charge, but that does not mean that the ionized water is structured. Make sense? And this is a major fallacy that a lot of these representatives are spreading. So this is just three of my many qualms with these brands, not to mention the studies that show that drinking alkaline ionized water in the long term could cause things like cell death, necrosis, fibrosis, and other complications in heart muscles. Now I devote an entire day to going really deep into the science of why I don't recommend ionization and electrolysis in my seven day e-course, Navigating the Waters, if you wanna learn more. I also have several more in-depth free videos about it on my YouTube channel. Just find the playlist called Kangen Scam. Now I am really grateful that the whole ERW trend is at least awakening more people to the importance of hydration, but the profit drives seem to just be blinding people to the truth that nature knows best. Natural water will always trump machine-made water, and we should be mimicking the geology of springs to create the highest quality water, not electrocuting it. Because what we do to water, we do to ourselves. Now, I know we all want to believe in something. We all want to be a part of a community of people who are changing the world together. We, we all want the easy convenience of a panacea solution like water, and we all want the supportive income of a collaborative business model. Believe me, I really get the allure of these teams. I really do. But please, empower yourself to take sovereignty over your own body water. Don't just buy into pseudoscience just because it's compelling. you know. And don't take my word for it either. Do your research, get unbiased, well-rounded, third-party perspectives from people who have nothing to gain by your, your believing them, and dig into the science, not just the hype. I've had the honor of knowing and working with some of the top water scientists in the world, and water science has progressed so far past Kangen at this point. No one in the water science community, I mean, people who have devoted their entire lives to learning the subtle mysteries of water, None of them drink Kangen or other alkaline ionized water. There are just much, much better options out there. So check out the YouTube playlist for more on this and comment below. Would you rather drink fresh mountain spring water or machine-made electrocuted water? Let us know your thoughts below.